Welcome back to Forgotten Flicks. This video is part 2 of the top 10 underrated films with narration. If you missed part 1, you may want to go back and watch that video first. Let's continue and see what film landed the number 1 spot on the list. Number 5, Sin City is a neo-noir film based on the graphic novels by Frank Miller featuring Bruce Willis, Jessica Alba, and Mickey Rourke. An exploration of three residents from the dark and miserable Basin City, all of whom are caught up in violent corruption. So you hit the saloons, the bad places, looking for the biggest, meanest lug around, finding me. Well, I'm gonna find that son of a bitch that killed you, and I'm gonna give him the hard goodbye. A visual masterpiece, and the narration makes sense since the source material is from graphic novels. Sin City is truly one of a kind. Number 4, The Descendants is a drama starring George Clooney and Shailene Woodley. George Clooney plays a dad trying to reconnect with his two daughters after his wife is put on life support. For the last 23 days, I've been living in a paradise of IVs and urine bags and tracheal tubes. Paradise? Paradise can go fuck itself. Great movie and reminds me of being in Hawaii. It's an accurate portrayal of modern life on the islands. If you're a Clooney fan, this is a must watch. Number 3, The Assassination of Jesse James by the Coward Robert Ford is a western starring Brad Pitt and Casey Affleck. Robert Ford, who has idolized Jesse James since childhood, joins his gang, but gradually becomes resentful of Jesse. His inability to express what he now believed was the case. That he truly regretted killing Jesse that he missed the man as much as anybody and wished his murder hadn't been necessary. This movie has a unique narration style and adds a richness to the cerebral take on a Western. Number two, Malcolm X starring Denzel Washington and Angela Bassett, a biographical epic of the controversial black nationalist leader. From his early life as a small time gangster to his ministry in the Nation of Islam and his eventual assassination. Now you may be shocked by these words, but I have eaten from the same plate, drunk from the same glass, and prayed to the same God with fellow Muslims whose eyes were blue, whose hair was blonde, and whose skin was the whitest of white. I watched this film while I was in high school. Spike Lee had me engaged with this story from start to finish. And finally, my number one film is Rounders, starring Matt Damon and Edward Norton. A reformed gambler must return to playing underground poker to help a friend pay off his debts, while balancing his commitment with his girlfriend and law school. No Limit Texas Hold'em is the Cadillac of poker. There's no other game in which fortunes can change so much from hand to hand. A brilliant player can get a strong hand cracked, go on tilt, and lose his mind along with every single chip in front of him. This is why the World Series of Poker is decided over a no-limit hold'em table. I can hear the haters already, but I'm biased towards rounders. It's my top movie on the list because it's one of my all-time favorites. And there you have it. My list of top 10 underrated movies with narration. You should check them out if you love narration like I do. Each one is a solid film, and they're all itching for a spot on your watch list. Do you agree or disagree with my list? I'm sure there are opinions. So let me know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.